What's going on guys? Cliff and Denny with On Your Own Outdoors. Hey guys, so uh, if you've been following the videos or whatever, you know I'm up at the cabin right now. Uh, took two weeks of leave to do some hunting. And so anyways, it's the, uh, it's the last weekend. And um, in the last three days, the last weekend I'm going to get to hunt up here. So in the last three days, they, uh, they've put rain in the forecast. And so anyways, as everybody knows, man, if you've got camera gear, the, uh, the rain shuts you down. So usually I would pack up and head to the house. So the thing is, is in the last three days, I finally started seeing some deer. I got a buck killed yesterday morning. Um, I saw another one this morning, probably, I don't know, 120, 125 inch deer. Um, I actually seen the same deer four days ago, the first time I hunted in the spot that I called the buck nest. And uh, so anyways, he crossed the same spot twice. I moved over there and uh, he's just got it tore up. So. Um, I'm not willing to give up on him. I had to come up with something. So anyways guys I ran over to Max Prairie Wings over in Stuttgart, Arkansas yesterday and uh, picked up one of these muddy pop-up umbrellas um, So anyways, I uh, Like I said filming. I didn't want to get shut down um, So we're fixing to test this thing out. I've never used one. I don't know anything about them um, But what I do know is is I need something to keep my gear and myself dry so um, let's see what this thing's all about. So when you open up the package, it comes with two things. You got your umbrella and if you little carrying case. Um, and then you've got all your parts and accessories. And then an instruction manual that I am most certainly going to get in <laughs> so we can figure this out. So it says step one. So step one, you open up the umbrella, push this out, and clip that into there. This little push tab right here. You can see it there. Take that guy, push it up. There's a little rubber stopper. Keep going up, and it pops it into place. Hey! So step two, you've got your little rod thing here and it says to clip stick that in there step three you've got your little tab here so figure out which hole you want it in and it says to run it from the shaft side so figure out exactly which hole you want it in here we'll start that little carter pin through so the reason we're doing this today by the way is because like I said, I'm going to use it tomorrow, so I'm going to go ahead and get it in the tree and get it set up um, after dark this afternoon. All right, pins in. Oh. I guess I should have paid a little bit more attention. <laughs> hey, whenever you do this, make sure your, uh, your rod... It's facing your big opening because obviously that's going to go towards the tree. So we'll spin that guy around. The dang pin is awful big for these little big holes, but you got to get it just right. So now it's in there. And so what you do then, I got this. Put it back up again. So whenever you get it, don't put this guy on yet. You're gonna figure out where you want it. So say I want it. You know, that's probably about how high I'll use it. Screw it in, get one of your holes squared up. And you take, set it in the hole. Put your pin through, and there it goes. There you go. So if I was sitting in my stand, I would actually probably have it just a tad bit higher, but it ought to give me a place to tuck up and stay out of it. It's pretty quiet. It's not as loud of fabric as what I thought it was gonna be. 
and it's super light. So, um, we'll kind of take you real quick. So this is what it looks like on a tree. That's your shaft that screws into the tree, comes through. You pick a hole, so if it wasn't perfectly squared, you know, you could pick a different hole or whatever, but this is your little corner pin. You just kind of put it through, and you're good to go. So, it's, I don't want to say it feels like it's kind of made cheap, but it's definitely um, not real, you know, it's kind of flimsy. There's no doubt. So anyways, guys, yeah, that's how you mount it. And so what we're going to do is, is I'm going to take it back down. I'm going to pack it up, and then, uh, yeah, we'll finish up this review from the tree. And uh, hopefully the first time out with it, we can... <laughs> All right, guys, we've been in the stand. Um, it's been raining about 30 minutes. That's what it looks like in the tree. It's got black straps that go around this. And take it around and tighten it up to that side. Um, I don't have my black straps on because they smell like new material. I didn't have enough time to clean them before I got out here. I feel good. I'll tell you the only complaint I have is if you buy one of these muddy tree umbrellas, once it's locked into place, look. so it's small movement here, but up top. I can guarantee if it was a very windy day, it's going to blow that thing all over the place. But for a light, gradual rain, or even a driving rain where there's not a lot of wind. It's going to be just great. So, all right, guys, so that's the end of the review on the Muddy Tree Brella. They're cheap. I think it was like $35. Um, so, well, the only other negative I have is it's got really cool camo on the upside. I have no idea why. So, underneath of it is kind of this whitish gray look. Doesn't make any sense. So, Muddy, if you watch this, put the camouflage on the bottom side it sounds pretty obvious but anyways um that, that's the only two really knocks that i have it moves a little bit and then the uh the no camouflage underneath other than that it's cheap it's easy to use went up really fast when it stops raining you can literally just pull it up out of here you can just snatch it up out of there fold it up put it back and it's a little carrying thing and put it right back into your bag. So I like it. I'll probably go buy an extra one just to have it in case I tear this one up. So that's all we got for you guys today. I appreciate y'all for watching. As you can tell, I'm in the tree. I'm watching the saddle. Um, I had a real big deer come by me yesterday. So I'm gonna get off here. I'm gonna get back to it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And by all means, hit that little bell up there. You never know when I have to go buy something because the weather changes and might drop another review. Good hunting, guys. We'll see you later this week.